Hi guys, somewhere different. Typically Spanish, I've never been before, the rest of these guys have been at some point, I think. Uh, but this is Manolo's, down on the Lemon Tree Road, near Guadalajara. Hi Bob. Hi Bob. So good morning everybody. Good morning everybody. That's the Ponto. What have you three ordered? Wait, we're going to put a baby pele. Oh, it's baby pele. Yeah, I'll talk. <laughs> baby pele. <laughs> right, so what have you ordered? Uh, Chipperones or chopitos, which are uh, little tiny baby <clears throat> squids or octopus in batter. Yes. yes. And bread and alioli? Yes. And a chicken and uh, rabbit paella. <laughs> There we go. The wine, the red wine, this is the house wine and it's a Rioja but it's also a Tempranillo, is seven fifty a bottle. Mixed grills 25 euros? Yes. And our paella is 11 euros each? I don't know. I think the kids paella is, how much is your paella kids? Is that 10 euros each? Minimum of two people for the Yeah, you've got, you've got to, yeah. Well, there I've are, only been to one place where they've done it for one person which is in Santa Paula. Yeah there are a few places on the seafront which, which is sort of um it's not freshly cooked paella that you might get it for one person and they bring it in a little right, it? yeah it's what well, yeah it's all right. 11 thought, euros. 11 for euros for ours what how much is theirs? Kids is rab what are they having? Rabbit and chicken. Chicken and rabbit 10. 10 and we're also having to start with we're having stuffed peppers which I think are 250 each the croquettes yep. are about 250 each as well. The bread and alioli and, and tomatoes, 140 per, per person. This restaurant's been here since 1969, so it's been here a while. Hopefully they'll right. know what they're doing. Helen, Helen and Bob, they've been many years in the past. Yeah, I've not been for probably about 13 or 14 years since I've been. <laughs> it's one of these where we always go to, when we go to the Sunday market, uh, Lemon Tree, you always go past it nearly always busy. I mean, I can see people over that way now and there's loads of them sat inside. And uh, it's one of those where I've always been interested in trying it, so we're giving it a whirl. Yeah, I don't think anybody else wanted to sit outside, but it's actually really nice today, isn't it? Yeah, it is nice. I'm glad we sat outside instead of in. The bread is so uh, lovely. It's lovely, it's fresh. A little bit warm, but not warm. It's like it's been done not so long since. Yeah, on the board, and we suspect homemade alioli. It is homemade. Saying it's, it's lovely set out here. The weather's beautiful. It's a little bit breezy. The only downside is having the the main road at the side of the at the side of this outdoor space. But that, it's not a massive problem. There's a nice big fence there. So if you've got your kids in there, they couldn't, go, they couldn't go onto the road, could they? So these are the stuffed pepper stuffed with monkfish and prawns. They look very interesting. Mm. They're nice. Different. Ooh, they are nice. Yeah, I think you'll like them, Andy. Yeah, yeah Andy won't you like wish. it, so me and my dad will have to eat it between us. Go on. That's yeah. a shame, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's what they look like inside. Yeah. Oh. Very tasty. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hot, but very tasty. Yeah, nice start. Mm. Let's see what else comes. They were lovely. 
Really, really, really tasty. I'd have them again. Yeah. Yeah. We'll let you know what the croquettes are like. But they're all homemade, so it should be good. <laughs> kids, have, kids have had nothing yet, apart from bread. Yeah. We'll show you the chapitos when they come, because like, they look like spiders in breadcrumbs. They're nice, they're lovely. <coughs> I think I inadvertently had one once. No. But they were the croquettes de la casa, so they ham croquettes. And these are the croquettes with duck, with a hoisin... Hoisin sauce. Something. It's in that. Paste. Yeah. I'm going to try the croquettes de la casa, which is the ham ones first. Is that Ali Elliot's cooked? No, I think it's just mayonnaise. They're hot. Really nice. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. That's the, that's the duck. Oh, you've had the duck one? Yeah. I'm going to try the duck now. Oops, if I don't drop it off my fork. Mm. Really nice, both of them. So which one have you got there? Um, the duck? Yeah. Try a little bit first without the sauce. Don't taste the duck. You definitely get the when you mix the two together. You definitely get the hoisin sauce. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, try, so try your try your croquette de ham on as well. Nice, aren't they? They were nice, they were different. For me, I preferred the peppers with monk fish and prawn. They were, yeah, the monk fish, the peppers were lovely, but the croquettes were nice as it well. And they were, I think they it were was all, all nice. They were all I lovely. enjoyed them all. Now, contrary to popular belief, croquettes here in Spain do not have mashed oh, potato in them. Johnny's They're actually made from like a bechamel sauce with the ingredients in that give the, give the flavour, whether it be chicken or fish or ham. Ham's common. Yeah. It's, it's bechamel rather than mashed potato. These are chapitos, which are baby, I don't know, baby squids or baby octopus. You can see like a few little legs on there and everything. To me, they taste a little bit like scampies. I do like, the only only thing is sometimes you get like a little bit of a hard bit in the middle where it's, it's like a bit. Go on then, Madison, have a try. Nice, my day. Nice, yeah. Cheska? I'm really good. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm nicking one. Come on, Andy. Come on. They're gorgeous. They're really... Thank you. Really soft. They're lovely, aren't they? I And it's a wolf. Somehow, I think I'm on a managed to eat all of this, but... I mean, it's a mixed grill. 25 euros and you've got chicken, uh, pork, it's like pancetta, rabbit as well I think in here as well, as well as salchichas and chips and the, and the little um, green peppers, steak. And steak, different, might need, uh, might need some salt, yeah. There is the rabbit and seafood paella, which I can see prawns and squid in there to start with and chipperonis and these big prawns and the little ones, the little red ones are in there as well. So the squid stoke calamari. Uh, I'm guessing that that's also got bits of, um, it'll be fish, like a bit like tuna or something like that, yeah. But it's got the burn on the bottom. So this is pile for the kids and it's, what is it kids? Chicken and rabbit. Got my big piece of squid there, look. Again. Andy weren't very fond of his. No, I was disappointed to be honest. But, but I think a lot of it is down to my own personal taste and preferences and... Yeah, it just it was just a mixed grill that you ordered. Yeah, but it wasn't 25 worth, euros worth of mixed grill for me, to be honest. But the lasagna, no, we didn't have lasagna, we had no, paella. Yeah, the paella. paella that we had was absolutely delicious. And the sauce was good, and I'd really come back tasty, again, definitely. So. Really tasty, really <coughs> tasty. We've ordered three desserts now. The kids are ordering some as well, and they're all homemade, so we'll let you know what they're going to be like. So that's the uh, natia, which has got natia. like a... It's like a custard. It always has like a little biscuit on top of it and a bit of cinnamon. And a bit of cinnamon. They might not so have heard you. Yeah. 
stuff. And then we've got this is the uh, tata de chocolate. So chocolate tart. It's like going to be like a tarta de abuela as well. Hang on a minute. It's got biscuits inside it and everything. So it should be nice. So that's uh, the chocolate cake, which is tarta de abuela, which is one of my favourites. I prefer that. Yeah. Right. Okay then. That so that's natilla, which is I like a that. custard. I've not got mine yet, so I need to wait. <coughs> it's like a custard with a biscuit and cinnamon I on need top. To have another dip. I'll just remember to save some for me. <laughs> that nice and they're all homemade wait a minute wait 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 one more time don't eat it all neither save some for me nice yeah it's the it's the cinnamon on that yeah cinnamon yeah right go on then tarta de abuela so when which you means look at your, this, your granny's cake see it's different layers with the chocolate yeah don't drip it down yet and i think it's got um i think it's caramel sauce not normally got caramel sauce on it, but nice. So that's pan de calabratan, which is like an egg, an egg, a bread and egg pudding. But it's I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try that first. That. that one. That's nice, but I've had nicer tarta de abuela. You get some biscuits as well. That's all right. mm. That Natalia is lovely. Let's try this. I think I like that best. That one is um, a little bit like an egg custard. It's a little bit citrusy. But I think that's the nicest. So, on the whole, two thumbs up. That yeah. was, it was a beautiful, beautiful, really beautiful nice. meal. Proper, authentic Spanish food. The paella was fantastic. I think it's probably one of the nicest paellas I've had in a restaurant for a long time. Yes, I agree. It were, it were a little bit too fishy for Andy because we had the the rabbit and shellfish paella, which they made, she told us they made it with a, a fish stock. Caldo, yeah. So that made it a little bit fishier, but for me it was absolutely beautiful, really, really tasty. It's got the nice amount of burn on the bottom, so you scrape it off and you've got a lovely caramelised brown bit of rice on the bottom. Delicious. And he had the mixed grill, which I think he chose the wrong thing actually. Yeah, I agree with that. The desserts? Desserts, Punta Prima are, are better. These oh, were beautiful, don't and these, are these were standard Spanish yeah. desserts, weren't they? Traditional these were Spanish. absolutely spectacular. But the Punta Prima desserts Punta Prima are probably desserts some of the nicest better. desserts I've had for years. For years, yeah. But these were proper homemade Spanish desserts. So we had um, a, the, chocolate, the chocolate. chocolate cake, which was a tarta de abuela, which is it means your grandmother's cake, and it was lovely. The natilla, which is like a custard with a biscuit on top, with creamy and tasty, and um, I don't even know what mama called. Panda calatrava. Something like that. I'll put, like it the, I'll put it on the bread. It's like, it's like a bit of a bread pudding, but it's like got a, um, like an egg custard on top. A little bit citrusy, nice. I preferred, my favourite was the Natilia. That were, that were delicious. Yeah, I, would, I, would, yeah. I like citrus, but I weren't a fan of that. Yours, actually. Yeah, but, but really, really tasty. The wine, not expensive, and it's a nice wine. The starters were, the starters were lovely, so we'll definitely come back. 100%. So, I would say if you're in the area, give Manolo, Manolo's a, a try. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely two thumbs up for me. Definitely. Traditional Spanish theirs. place. What did you reckon, kids? Nice. Do it again? Yeah. yeah same again? Yeah. She come just the uh, tarta de abuela. Tarta de, oh, the abuela. Just, just the cake. That's the, only reason, that's the only reason why I went to the Spanish birthday party, and just so I could have one of those cakes. <laughs> I didn't really go because I liked the kids. Sleep. I just wanted to go for the cake. <laughs> So we enjoyed that yeah, meal. Yeah, it was good. I'll come back again. I thought it was really nice. And the waitress was absolutely spot on. She was very, very informative. She explained everything. The dessert, she said what were nice and what weren't nice. And she's just told us that every day of the week, they do a menu del dia for €9.90. Euros 90. Saturday and Sunday's €26, euros, so it is more expensive. But for the €9.90, euros 90, you get a salad on your table, a, um, a starter, a main course, a dessert and a coffee. And the house wine or something. Half a bottle of wine each. So really for 9 90 that's a fantastic deal. Is, yeah. So we'll definitely be trying it again during the week for the menu Del Dia. 
on the menu down here they've also they've got paellas they've got um like a rib paella um what else did they, she said they had they've got all, they've, got, they've got all sorts of things but it's definitely worth coming in if you don't want to spend from the a la carte menu like we've done today definitely come and try the menu del dia just to give you an idea of what it's like because it is a really really lovely restaurant i've thoroughly enjoyed it our bill today came up to 176 euros for six people which is 30 euros just, just under 30 euros each but we've had a mountain of food the only thing that i was not impressed with was the coffee but that's yeah, because that they, they, they were big coffees. They, it would have been better if it were a small coffee and they were a little bit... My dad's you actually coffee, left it, didn't we? My, my dad's coffee solo were lovely, but ours were a little bit too dilute. But that's because we like stronger coffees. If you like a really weak coffee, then that would have been all right for you. I'm got, not a strong coffee person, but that would just... We got, we got a me. chupito at the end, which is a little shot at the end. So we got a limoncello to end with. And I think enjoyed all in all, it. it's been a lovely meal. I will definitely really be back it. for a menu del dia to try that. We'll do a, a yes. separate vlog for menu del dia. But anyway, two, hope you've enjoyed two, it. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs fresh. Thanks two for joining us. Fresh, even. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this review and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Like. Subscribe. And ring that bell. Hasta pronto. Ding ding. Adios.